Get your gun, brother. Get your gun. Yeah, yeah, brother. Whoa. Whoa. He's a strong rascal. Whoa. Whoa. Hey, watch it. He's going to pull it in. Better hold on. Watch it, brother. Watch it. Oh, my God. As the sun rises in southern Louisiana, only two days remain in the alligator hunting season. All right, let's go get them. Concerned this might be the first year they don't tag out, Troy and Guy are making every second count, racing to fill at least 30 tags by the end of the day. This year has been one of the roughest seasons I've ever been through. Through the grace of the good Lord, we've always tagged out. There are some years we didn't tag out to the last day of the season, and that's what we're facing this year. You know, every tag is important. Uh, if you got a bunch of tags and you stay with a handful or a bunch at the end of the season, well, you lost out on, on a lot of money. So, you know, this is a lot at stake here. It's a race right now. We need every alligator we can catch, or there's no way I'm going to tag out this year. Oh, we got oh. something here. Oh, the ball missing, the line's tight. Could be a big one, guy, Landry. Hopefully it's a nice one on the end. Oh, oh I can make it. Get your gun, buddy. Get your gun. You load it. Don't play, baby. Just don't play with him. Hey! Oh. Hell yeah, brother! Oh. Whoa! Shoot him, guy! Shoot him! Man, almost had him right there. Watch him, brother, watch him! Oh, my God! Shoot him, brother, shoot! He's pulling. Hey, watch it, he's gonna pull it in! You better hold on. Like a guy. Give me the shot, come on, bro. Woo! Oh, that's a good one, brother. Coming up, shoot, shoot him! All right, little bread. Pretty alligator. Not a gigantic one, but fill a tag. We used to catching big loads and not being worried about numbers, but them tags ain't going away. And there's a timeline. It's a mission. We know we got a lot of work ahead of us. You got to make it happen. With six gators in the boat so far, the Landry clan need at least 24 more by end of day. And time is ticking fast. Every little bit helps. Meanwhile, a short distance up the canal. Hunting the 20 reward tags from Troy, the Edgars still have an empty boat. Every time I look at this bag with the 20 tags in it, I look up at the sun, and the sun's in a different place. Time's just really getting away from me. With each passing minute and only 36 hours left in the season, tagging out is seeming less and less likely. Hey, Mr. Daniel and all. Hey! Gentlemen, gentlemen, what's going on over here? Well, we we running lines, Guy and I, and we run into the Edgars. I kind of forgot that I had given them tags to fish in my area. What's happening? It looked like y'all getting a few. We're catching a little bit, Joy. It's nothing to brag about. You're catching? Nah, it's not too good for us. God, oh. We still got some lines to run, but I'm telling you, real slow for us. We'll see. We may have to, instead of picking lines up, we may have to leave them and just keep fishing this area for a while. Man, I, I tell you what, I always tease Troy about that stink bait in his boat. <laughs> but after this morning, in this area, maybe that's what it takes. <laughs> Even when they don't bite, when you're not hungry, if your bait is perfect, they can't resist it. Yeah. A good friend of mine, he said, God, what stinks so much? I said, man, that's our bait. I said, I took a bite last night. <laughs> <laughs> to lend the Edgars a helping hand, Troy offers up some of his legendary stinky bait. Don't go believe it don't make a difference. Yeah. When yeah. they don't bite, you put that bait that's perfect, they can't resist it. They, they're going to eat it, eh, buddy? They can't resist it. Your son and your grandson ain't gonna like the idea of using rotten bait. At this stage of the game, whatever it takes. <laughs> Good luck, luck the rest of All right, buddy. Yeah, we, be can we can pick up a couple more. Yes, yes. Next time y'all see us, our, boat, our boat might be full, buddy. I hope. 
Thank you. All right. You buddy. didn't have to no, do that. I know but that. I'll tell you what, I appreciate it. All right, y'all be careful. Be careful, be careful, gentlemen. All right, fellas. So plan B is in effect with this stinky bait. I'm gonna make it happen. See y'all later. I'm hoping that uh, Troy's uh, stink chicken is gonna help me. If it works for Troy, let's uh, hope it works for me. Might have something on there, Dad. Look his foot yeah, in that in tree. tree. You saw his leg, his foot come up in the tree, Dad. Just try to stay where you're at. What are you doing, Dad? Let me see what we got here. Taking a huge risk, Daniel reaches into the water to untangle the line. He's under your... He's right there. He's straight down. We can't even get him out. Tie the line off in the boat. Try to get him out of there. I need this alligator, Dad. I'm, I'm going to get him out of there. Oh, we're about to drag this rascal out. His ass is mud. Ooh, that's a good one. Get ready, D. Boy, he's powerful. We don't want to lose that one. He's a strong rascal. Boy, you're going to have to take a shot. Put your bullet in the sweet spot. Try to get a shot, quick. Whoa, whoa. Drifting into a tree. He's going to get tangled back in that tree. We're going to have to shoot him quick. Try to get a shot on it. He's trying to get back in that tree. Try to get him up. Try to get him up, Paul. Oh, my God. Shoot him, Paul. Good shot. Good job. That slide him forward a little bit. Look how fat his tail is. 11 hours into their day, the Edgars have finally bagged their first beast. A 10-footer worth $280. Yeah, Daddy he prayed the line. He was about to come off. Oh, my God. God, one more pull. Watch how easy these go cut it. We would have lost that alligator. That was it. Well, thank God. The stinky bait seems to be working. All right, gentlemen, we can't stay here too long. But with 19 tags to go and less than 30 hours left in the season, is it too late? I've never left a tag unfilled in my life. It's coming down to the wire now. As the second to last day of the season draws to a close, in Pierre Part. We ain't got no big one, but we got some little one. But we got bunches of them. One, two, three, go. No. The Landry family is tallying up their day's haul. We had a good catch here, yeah. Uh, we didn't have no giants, but we had some good alligators. Between the boys and me and Gar, we caught like 30 today. So we can keep this pace up. We're going to knock our tags out. It won't be easy, but we're not going to give up. Making their day's quota leaves the king of the swamp with 22 tags left to fill by sundown tomorrow. You know, this could really be the year that we end up with tags at the end of the season. It's always added pressure when it comes to tagging out. I don't want to be busting my ass tomorrow in all this slop, so. Got to clean it today. As the Landry's prep for tomorrow's final push, the Edgars arrive to unload their catch. Go help Danny, uh, Joey. Hey, Joe. What's going on? Joey, I'm on the park here. No, we go, we go flip him on. We just showed up to Duffy's. It wasn't a too great of a day. We only caught four. So, you know, the numbers weren't there. While Troy's stinky bait helped, Daniel still has 16 tags left to fill and the Edgar name to uphold. I expected y'all for seven or eight. I was hoping y'all had caught 10. I've never had a season where I didn't tag out of, and I don't plan to let this be my first season of not tagging out. But I need a boatload to finish up tomorrow. That other canal at, at the very end, you didn't catch nothing there? No. They came and helped us out early in the season when we were struggling. It's time to help the Edgars. It's what we do in the swamp. You know, you, you help your neighbors. Young or old, if somebody need help, you help them. But it's not going to be easy. It's not going to be an easy task.